So, you want to make a cinematic tutorial? Wait, no. You don't want to make a cinematic tutorial. Well, maybe you do, I don't know. Maybe you're doing a tutorial channel. If you're doing a tutorial channel, I wish you the best of luck. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.8 EV once again, taking a look at how to make a cinematic intro ember thingy in Blender. Um, we've done this a little bit before, but I have not done it in 2.8. It's been a long time, so I figure we might as well do it today. So, ladies and gentlemen, get started. I want to go ahead and hit delete on default cube here. We're going to hit shift A and we're going to add in a, uh, a plane. We're going to add in a plane and we're going to hit S to scale that up. But before we actually start scaling like this, I want to hit S, X. So we'll hit X to uh, scale it this way. Make it a little bit longer. Then we'll uh, left click to confirm that. Then we'll hit S again to scale it just up in general. Cool. Now we got this nice little plane here. Might be a little bit too long. About right there maybe. Cool. Now, I'm going to select our camera and hit Alt-G and Alt-R to clear the rotation and location. Now, I'm going to hit RX90 on my numpad and hit Enter to confirm that. Then, we're going to hit G, Y and move the camera backwards. Sweet. Now, with our lamp selected, I'm going to also go ahead and hit Alt-G and Alt-R to clear the rotation and location of that. And then, I'm going to hit G, Y to move this back behind the plane. Sweet. I'm going to select our plane and hit GZ to move it down on the Z axis. And now we have something like this. If I hit zero to go into the camera's view, we can now see we have everything pretty much set up. I do want to move this back up a little bit though. It's not, I just want it to be out of the camera's view. So right there, let's go as close as we can get it really, but not too close because we have the camera move around a little bit. All right, cool. Hit shift A and we're going to search for a, uh, a, a text object right here. Click that. Hit RX90 and then hit enter. There we go. Now go to the text tab on the right hand side and change the horizontal alignment to center. And uh, we will change the line spacing in a second here. But first we have to select our font right here and, and hit this little button to open up your fonts, uh, open up your folders and you can find a font there. I'm going to be using a font called Pirata One, Pirata, Pirata One, regular. I don't know what it's called, but it's called that. I'm going to open that up and now we can uh, see we have that text here. And I'm going to change our line spacing for this specific font to, uh, I believe it's negative point what was it I can't remember what it was it's, I think it's negative uh, not line space I'm sorry offset y what am I thinking uh, it was negative uh, 27 that's right it was negative 0.27 all right negative 0.27 there we go I'm gonna hit tab to go into in, uh, to edit mode delete everything and then just um, type in what I want I'm gonna hit uh, cinematic sweet cool now let me just put that back on one cool um, all right next um, what I need to do is we need to go ahead and change the thickness of this because it's paper thin right now. We can go and do that by scrolling up to geometry, downsize everything else, we don't need it. And change the extrude value until it's uh, your likeness. I'm going to do 0.12 for today's tutorial and then we're going to go ahead and open up uh, the, uh, where is it at? What am I, I'm, oh, right here, <laughs> a bevel, it's already open. I uh, changed the bevel size from uh, 0 to about maybe 0 0.001, I believe it was. 0.001, maybe 0 0.005, three or something like that. 0 0.002 is probably fine. So yeah, 0 0.002 for the bevel, just a little bit of edge there so it catches some shine. Um, right, cool, sweet. Now we can change the resolution up, but you don't really have to. I'm just gonna bump it up once to five. This five is my favorite number. Really pointless, but you know me. Um, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go and head to the material tab now, and hit this little drop down with our text still selected. Select material, and then we're going to do just change the base color to a very slightly darker blue-ish tint color. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and turn specular all the way up, roughness almost all the way down, and metallic practically all the way up as well. So we got something like that. Now uh, it looks like this. Uh, once you know, that's what it looks like right now. Pretty cool stuff. I enjoy it. Uh, now. We're gonna add in some really good stuff. So first I wanna do the lighting. Actually, we'll do the embers first. We'll do the ember for, embers first. So hit shift A, search for a uh, mesh circle, and then hit this little add circle button down here and change this from nothing to in gone. Click that, now you can see the circle is filled in instead of it being uh, you know, not, not filled in. There we go, cool. Now hit RX 90 on your numpad. Left click to confirm that. Then we're gonna go ahead and hit G Y to move this way back behind the camera because I don't want to see it in our in our view in our viewport. Um, and then I want to go to the material tab with the ember selected. Hit new. 
and then change this base color to like a nice orangish color like that maybe something kind of harsh and not very desaturated something like that full brightness and we will actually i'm sorry uh, let me just grab this hex like that color um we have to hit uh, control c on the hex right there we should change this to emission first because it's going to change it to white there we go and then control v enter all right sweet so now just hit this little button change it from principal bsdf to emission and then do the color which this color is ff8c38 if you want to grab that same exact color cool now um it looks like it looks like this but i don't want it to be orange i want it to be like whitish so we're going to bump this all the way up to 100 my friends whitish and then when we turn on bloom in the main tab right here boom you can see we have that nice beautiful orange glow on that ember super sweetness now with our plane selected we're going to go ahead and go to the particles tab which is this bad boy right here and hit plus add in a particle system i'm going to change the number from 1000 to 400 and then we're going to go ahead and change our in frame of our scene down here to 200 as well to match the frame of the particles because i don't want it to go too long open that up a little bit um we're going to go ahead and go down to render and go to render as halo and change halo to object and then down here, this object has now appeared, and we're going to change the instance object to our circle, which is our ember. Now you see one little ember pop up right there. If we play this, you can see now that the embers are working, but they're kind of falling down like little raindrops, which is not good. Plus, they're not rotated the right way, so I'm going to go ahead and hit rotation. Now they're rotated the right way, but they're still falling down. So we can fix that by going all the way down here to uh, field weights and checking to make sure gravity is all the way off. But before we do that, uh, the particles are actually coming down and then going up first because this plane is sitting upside down so i'm gonna hit r y i'm sorry r r y no it's right there. it's right it's right this way never mind okay that's right because we didn't rotate the plane all right usually the plane is upside down but it's not since the particles are going up right now so whatever way they're going up is the way you want them to go you want them to go up that this is the front of the face right here the front of the plane cool now you can see they're dying super early so to fix that downsize all that stuff and we can change the lifetime all the way up to 200 as well so now they live for 200 frames instead of living for only 50 which is much longer as you can see so now the particles actually go up into our word cinematic which is really nice looks really cool uh and that's what we need to do now finally for the particles i want to go to i believe it is we can do this as well um uh physics and we'll change the, the brownian the brunoian to uh maybe about five just so they're not going super straight now nah, five is way too much let's do two i always do too much brownian uh two is fine i just don't want them to go straight up i want them to kind of drift to the left and right a little bit you know cool cool little movements all right sweet that's good to me we can downsize physics and i believe it's under render under uh yeah right here we have under object i want to change the scale i'm going to change the scale down a little bit because i want them to be a little smaller and i'm also going to turn the random the scale randomness all the way up so we have super tiny ones and regular size ones and whatever else ones hit zero into the camera's view and now you can see we have uh, some good stuff. Now, this uh, light on the back is too strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the lamp and hit G to move it just down until I have a nice little kind of reflection area that I like, which I think right there might look kind of good. Hitting G, just moving it around. Uh, I really like the way it looks now. Uh, very cool. Sweet. Now, I want to go to our world tab and change the color from gray to solid black so everything looks more cinematic. Um, and I want to also, once again, hit Shift A, and we will add in a light area. Now, I'm going to hit uh, G, Y to move this forward, and then R, X to rotate this on the, e oop, on the X axis, about like that angle, and then we'll move it up. Uh, G, Z, and then G, Y, move it in a little bit, and I kind of want this to reflect from the top and the center of the text here. I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, R, X to kind of scale it on the X axis, just a little tiny bit. We'll go to the lamp tab and change the power up from 10 to maybe 20, uh, 20. And I, I think I want to scale that back down a little bit, maybe like that. It's a little brighter. You see it's the difference right there. So it's a little brighter. I want it to be more focused in the center of the text. So that looks pretty nice. I like that a lot. Um, very, very neat. I think the embers are a little bit too small now. So I'm going to go ahead and grab our uh, scale and just bump that up just a little tiny bit, maybe by two, um, something like that I think looks pretty good. Um, all right, nice. Now, I want these particles to be depth of fieldy because they're just too clear right now. So I'm going to hit G, X, move them closer to the camera. And I'm going to hit S, X, X, Y, sorry, X, Y, to scale this plane down a little bit because I want it to um, kind of kind of be focused in this area right here. So that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, sweet. Sweet.